July, 1969. Janet Planet and her two sons, Don and Ron, venture into a little-known nature reserve in southwest Auckland. They're never heard from again. April, 1984. John Smith, a piano tuner from Onihanga, goes for a morning stroll in the same reserve. He too vanishes into thin air. May, 2008. Twin brothers Steve and Steve Oxmall disappear within hours of venturing into what has become New Zealand's most notorious park. This is the story of Perfect Bush. My name is Michael Oxmall. I'm a 30-year-old male. I have two older brothers, Steve and Steve Oxmall. They both have gone missing. I'm waiting for Kerry Post because Kerry is taking me into Perfect Bush. Perfect Bush is Auckland's version of the Bermuda Triangle, except it's not in Bermuda, it's still a triangle. How do you get to the Perfect Bush? You turn left at Onihunga, and as it spans out in sort of an, a, a spherical kind of explosion, like, like the Big Bang, you will have different species of bird, fauna and flora, be it the um, Chlamydias radiatus, which is, you know, the native tree of New Zealand, as everybody knows, the frog leaf and the Australian twat leaf and the long-eared midget bear, which is said to reside within the perfect bush. I'm very frightened because I don't know what lies ahead. I'm hoping to find my two brothers. Kerry represents a group of people who know so much about the place in which my brothers were missing. He has had many years experience, I'm told, in the navigation of such areas. And he came highly regarded. Well, I remember we entered the perfect bush trying to sort of retrace the steps of, um, you know, of, of um, Michael's brothers. Steve and Stephen. We dug holes, we climbed trees, we, we made each other laugh, we drank wine, we did everything that their brothers, that, that Michael's brothers would have done to sort of just understand the relationship between them and the perfect bush. My father came from a country called Vietnam and he was Vietnamese and he lived there. He lived there as a Vietnamese. Perfect bush is my Vietnam. Kerry! Kerry! Mike! Gonna, I was just up in the plastic trees. I found an Australian twat leaf. Look at it. Smell it. Smell it. It's got nothing to do with Where your brother whatsoever. Where it are could my be. Brothers? They're in here. They're in here. They're not, they're not in here. I'm sorry. Come back. I took the opportunity um, to teach this, this guy about trees. Hopefully, he'd forget about his brothers because I'm not a detective. Let's face it. It is my goal today to drag my brothers out of perfect bush. Some, someone needs to put a sign here that says rest point, this is the perfect rest point. I could sit here, if my ass would get sore, I could sit here for the rest of my fucking life amongst Harry. all these trees, all where, from Katmandu. Where are my brothers? Bro where are my brothers? Where are we? We've been looking around forever. Where are my brothers? Yeah, they're, they're in the bush. They're in the bush. There's no, there's no footprints here. They didn't walk, the, they didn't walk this then way. Then why are we here? I just want to take you down to the, um, the half 50% plastic, 50% native carry plastic tree from Kathmandu. What has that got to do with my brothers? He could be there, he could be up it. What I do is I beautify trees just by talking to them and knowing about them. The rubber causes them to stick to the road like Velcro. Is, you know your brother so well, I'm amazed. Like, what, what do you call that? That kind of love, you know? What, what do you call that? It was last year, mate. That last year's line? What do you call that? Mm. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you call that? That's what I'm talking about. We're just wasting our time looking for nothing. I have very little experience with perfect bush. I've come past it. This is my grandmother's beard brush. Jesus. It's got to be around here somewhere. How, what colour was your grandmother's beard? Red. And what, what way does she brush it? And what, what direction? Listen to me! What direction did she brush the beard? Left. Right. right, and your brother did the same? Yeah. Just pointing. Yeah. 
It's a mystery. Follow me. And it got it got very dark. The sounds the sounds that we we heard that night were oh. not made of wood. Oh. Oh. So that's what it'll probably sound like. That's, those are the sounds I've heard before. No, no, we're not lost. Yeah, I had a wife. Which way? What the fuck? What was that? What was that? Oh, come on, 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 this is ridiculous. Hey, I, okay. oh. I found a way out. I found a way out. Where? 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 <laughs> no, I didn't really. I didn't really. Oh. But I found your where? brother. I found where? Your brother. where? No, I didn't. I didn't. Oh. There's no brother. Keep your pants on. You keep your pants on. I'm so freaking cold. No! Oh. Get away! Mark! Mark! Jesus Christ! Mark! Mark! Oh! 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 What was that? I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm cold. Come down. Who are you? I'm fine. My cock small is dead. And it's my fault because I didn't see it coming. If I don't make it out of Perfect Bush alive, know this one thing. I lived.